All right, gonna be looking at TXHD currently at 0048. Uh, coming off of the 20 and 30 day simple moving average quite nicely. Uh, we talked about it on the 15th, which would have been right here. Watch for a bounce here. If buying picks up, needs to get above the 10 day simple moving average, 0037. You guys got that right off of that. But uh, more importantly, on the 15th, I said 0044, close at 0044, we'll be setting up for a run. You guys got that close right there at the 0044, we'll be setting up for a technical analysis alert resistance at 0044 and 0056. And that is actually right, right around where you guys opened at. And I said right here, avoid gaps. Support at 004 and 0034 and 003, avoid gaps. Unfortunately, uh, for all you guys, you know, that, you know, heard about this one, whatever the case might be, it gapped up. What is that? Go on YouTube and take a look at penny stock, penny stock gap ups. Don't do this. You'll understand a little bit better about these gaps. This happens, you know, you'll see it down here. But like I was saying, uh, down here at the bottom, there's a good chance sometimes they don't fill. But up here, uh, when the buying is already out there and stuff like that, whatever the case might be, it's starting to fill right now. I would keep an eye on it. I would wait for the gap to fill. I personally believe that this gap's going to fill. Uh, 0044, you guys probably close around there. Um, you know, within the next day or so, and then watch for that bounce off that. Uh, I would want to see that 10 day simple moving average hold. And that right now is at that 0044, still setting up in my personal opinion, as long as this holds. So wait for that gap to fill and bounce off that area. If that doesn't hold, you start seeing it creep down to 0042. Uh, it could break and go down to the 20 and 30 day simple moving average. My personal opinion is that I'm just going to watch for this to fill. And Send it over to Joe because Joe hasn't been here the last few times we've looked at this stock. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's been two press releases since uh, the last time I went over it. And the first one was March 13, 2017. It was Text, text Communication Holdings Incorporated Builds for the Future. So... See, Text Communication Holdings Incorporated, a cloud-based mobile SMS marketing platform provider, is transforming the SMS landscape through innovative technology and partnerships. The company is in the process of upgrading its leading SMS platform, meeting the demands of the growing market. Text Communication just returned from the International Health Racket and Sports Club Association Convention in Los Angeles. More than 10,000 attendees saw the latest in health club technology and equipment. Two of the biggest challenges facing the health, the fitness industry are member retention and engagement. Text Communication offers a unique SMS platform for the industry. All the leading club management software, S uh, CMS companies use Text Communication solutions. The differentiators are API integration and automated SMS campaigns. Text Communication software allows for mass delivery, time messages, and automation of the campaigns versus manually uploading and sending separate text messages to individual messages, uh, individual members. In order to keep up with the demand, Text Communication has made a strategic decision to scale its software platform. Two new scalability engineers from one of Silicon Valley's leading technology firms recently joined Text Communication. They are in the final process of delivering a robust, scalable platform capable of sending more than 40 million SMS per day. In addition to the new software platform, Text Communication, today signed a letter of intent to acquire a software-rich and innovative solution addressing fitness, salons, retail, quick service restaurants, and hospitali hospitality verticals. The solution can be integrated into the new SMS platform, offering new social media interaction or integration and engagement tools, serving thousands of businesses across the United States. The Silicon, the Silicon Valley entrepreneur has put more than 2 million of development resources into the platform and looking for an innovative communication company to scale the software. An 8K will be issued shortly on the letter of intent. If this transaction is completed, it will provide text communication, the necessary software to separate from the, the largest SMS providers and offer a proprietary solution, substantially increasing the value of the company. So I'm guessing this one right here, that's, what's this, the 13th? All right, yeah, because then there was an 8K right here. 
from these guys. It was on March 10th, but it's, I'm guessing this is after the fact because they said there will be a 8K shortly on the letter of intent, and that was after the fact. You know what I mean? Because so this was beforehand. So on March 10th, text communication added Rajiv Var- Varshneya as technical advisor to the company. So they hired this guy right here. Mr. Varshneya spent more than 20 years with Royal Phillips. Phillips is a global leader in flat TV, energy efficient lighting solutions, healthcare, oral, cardiac, acute care, and home with revenues of 38 billion, 114,000 employees, and more than 100 companies. Mr. Vashneya roles at Philip concluded CEO of Philips Software Center, Vice President of Product Strategy, Engineering and Operations of SVP of Technology, Product Development and Strategy. He has also led numerous technology startups and is actively involved in government contracting with leading systems integrators. He resides in Silicon Valley and is connected to the technology network in the United States and abroad. His role as technology advisor, Mr. Varshneya, will design a technology roadmap setting text communication on a course to be a leading SMS solutions provider. He will bring in his network of technology architects and developers to assist in text communications technology growth M&A market leadership. This is not a principal director position, but rather an advisor role on a specific development projects in M&A. So I'm guessing that one's in regards to this guy's coming aboard, and he's pretty much the guy that's probably building for the future. You know how they said that they were uh, upgrading their platform? They're upgrading their uh, SMS platform to meet the demands of the growing market. So that's that 8K right there. Um, they had an 8K on Friday. <clears throat> they had another 8K on Friday as well. So it's uh, it was in regards to a promissory, promissory note that they had signed in uh, September 9th, 2015. Um, it was up. It was basically they borrowed fifty thousand. Interest under the convertible promissory note was eight percent per annuum, um, and the principal of the accrued amount but unpaid interest was due on June seventh, two thousand sixteen. The note was convertible any time following the issuance of the date of the note holders. Basically, state that they reached an agreement with the uh, on March seventeenth, two thousand seventeen. Text communications and the note holder reached a settlement agreement. The first payment will be wired. To the note holder on March 17th, the second and the final tranche is due no later than March 31st, 2017. Once the second payment is received, the note will be paid in full and eliminated. So that's in regards to that. Um, I mean, then they, they got another freaking press release. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't say freaking. All right, so they, their the press release on Friday was Aspire Consulting Group. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, because they, they, like there was a lot of things going on since the last time I went over this company with you. You know what I'm saying? Wow. You got to figure they hired this one guy to, to bring to come in and like you know expand their actual platform. They they have this one right here. Aspire and Consulting Group executes its strategic roadmap. So that was Friday's press release. So Text Communications Incorporated. A cloud-based mobile SMS marketing platform provider is minority owner of Aspire Consulting Group, LLC. On January 5th, 2016, Text Communications Incorporated entered into an, a share agree, exchange agreement with Aspire Consulting Group, LLC. Aspire is a verified service disabled veteran-owned small business. Pursuant to the terms of the agreement, Text Communication acquired 49% of all issued and outstanding members membership units of Aspire. As a result of the share exchange agreement, Text Communication became the minority owner of Aspire. So it, I'm guessing from just, you know, memory, Aspire is the one that got the government contract thing. Remember that? But I didn't know, like, they didn't tell us how much they, you know, of a of a minority ownership they had within that company. So now at least we know it's 49%. All right, so I mean, there's obviously, you know, just from that, it's more or less, Keep doing your due diligence. All right, so if you want to continue doing more due diligence on TXHD, just go right over that board right there. You'll see the company profile, the time and sales, the recent news, the filings, the financials, the buy rating. And as always, if you're interested in uh, getting an opinion or sharing an opinion, feel free to do so over on that board with the tens of thousands of like-minded investors that we have using the site daily. All right, again with the chart, 0047, gap is filling uh, 0044 and 48, then might bounce off to 10 day simple moving average, in my opinion. Uh, supported 0044, 0037, 003. Still setting up if the 10 day simple moving average holds. 
Uh, like I said, it, it, it's going to be close. I mean, I, I think that it will. It, it's probably going to recoil right off of it, I hope. Uh, that's what I'm going to be personally watching for. Uh, like Joe said, I mean, there's obviously a lot going on. There was a big gap right here, a huge gap uh, right here from the 3-4 to the 4-4. It ended up filling partially the day after that big pop, uh, but it ended up trending down to have completely filled and bounced right off of it. And that's where right here, like I said, setting up for a technical analysis alert because all the gaps were filled. Uh, that being said, if I remember correctly, Joe, uh, before we wrap this one up, uh, mm -hmm. this one won the contest, uh, the MVP contest, stock contest over here on Investors Hangout, uh, I believe yeah. with over 400% gains. Uh, so keep that in mind. I mean, this one this one <laughs> really leveled out off that drop below. Uh, I would have been a little standoffish with it because it dropped below those, those moving averages, but it, it recoiled perfectly off and just set right back up again, guys. Look at that. I mean, you can't, you don't see this stuff every day. It's breaking through all those uh, support levels and comes right back up and just says, I, I don't know what happened here. I'm just going right back to what I was doing before. <laughs> but yeah, either... it, won, it won on uh, 310. Okay, thank so you. 310 with a 450% gain. And it was up much higher. It was a uh, make box one. Yeah, it was a, that was a huge gain. Let me uh, real quick here, guys. Uh, while we've already got this stuff open, that was going to be off of, I believe, the close of this day, which would have been triple zero eight. So triple zero eight, and then right after that, let's see what the high was because the high was zero zero nine four to zero zero nine four. Calculate the gain a thousand percent off of his pick over here on the MVP contest. Make bucks, right, Joe? Yeah. So like like I said, thousand percent in two days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'd say he make he made bucks. Yeah, he one. made bucks on that one. Thousand mm -hmm. percent two days. I mean, that is just absolutely awesome. Uh, but like I said, keep an eye on this one. TXHD, uh, come come join us over here on investorshangout.com forward slash live, and you know keep in mind also uh, to get out there and share this video. Okay, get the video out there, get the information out there. We'd appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to stay updated with this hot stock and all the others we cover. And if you would like to see a video like this of your favorite hot stock, head over to investorshangout.com forward slash live. We'll take your ticker and add it to our list.